Hi everyone, and welcome to my video on combining different rhythms in tabla. Now you might ask yourself the question, why is it necessary to combine different rhythms within the same song, or the same instrumental piece for that matter? Well, in Indian music, the same song often requires us to play a different rhythm in one part of the song, and then we move to the second part of the song, it requires us to play an entirely different style. Similarly, in an instrumental piece, we might want to play a particular rhythm in a certain section, and then when the section changes, we might also want to play an entirely different teka, or an entirely different rhythm. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use tal kerva, and I'm going to use two particular tekas. The first one is a kind of swingy teka, and it's referred to as bhajan, or bhajani. Uh, it's got this kind of swing to it that uh, you'll soon see in the demonstration. And then um, I'm also going to show how that can combine, be combined with a more linear rhythm, uh, a sort of straight kerva, straight tal kerva. Um, so we've got the, the swingy rhythm on the one hand, and then showing how the movement changes from the swingy rhythm to uh, the more linear style of tal kerva. All, of course, within the same tal. We're still play, it was still playing in eight beats. We're still playing the same tal, but we're changing the teka. And we're showing how we move from one teka to another. And that brings me to another point, which is that the movement from one teka to another should require us often to play a bridge or a fill. So the, the movement from one teka to another is smooth. And then, of course, when we come back from the other teka back to the original, then we should also play uh, a bridging movement, um, a fill-in, and then that takes us back to our original teka. So the demonstration is going to be thal kerva using two particular rhythms, bhajani and then a more straight uh, linear kerva, show how they combine, and also in the same demonstration show how we play different fills to move in between uh, the two tekas smoothly. So before I demonstrate how those rhythms might be combined, First, I'll demonstrate the different parts. The first part is the bhajan teka, the swing teka. It goes something like this. And I hope you can feel the way that that rhythm is swinging. Okay, and then the bridge or the fill between the bhajan teka and then the next teka. And for that, it's going to be... Okay, so that's going to be our little fill that's going to take us from the bhajan teka to the next teka, which is the straight linear tal kerva, which goes like this. And immediately you can then see how this is much straighter in its uh, form. So that's going to be our second teka, and then coming back from there, back to the swinging bhajani teka, we might want to play a tihai, or a phrase repeated three times, so something like this. Again. Okay, so the different parts, uh, the bhajan teka first, then the fill in order to go to the next teka, and then a little tihai to return us back to the bhajan teka. Okay, so uh, let's uh, go on now and demonstrate how all those are combined. So demonstration now on combining different rhythms in tabla.
Take up. Take up change. And back. And there you have it, combining different rhythms in Nabla. And of course, using the fillings, using the bridges to take you to different parts. So how might I be able to apply some of the principles of combining different rhythms within the same song? Well, let me give you a little demonstration. Um, I will uh, now sing uh, a bhajan called Jini Re Chadariya. Um, it kind of starts off with the bhajan teka, and then you could, if you wanted to, play the more linear um, kerva, straight kerva rhythm uh, as we move through into the second part of the verses. Um, so I'm going to sing it. Uh, start with the bhajan taker and as I move into the verse, the first two lines I'm also going to keep as a bhajan taker and then when I change to uh, the next two lines then I'm going to play this linear kerva and then I'm going to come back using the tihai. Uh, anyway, let's see how it goes. Well, I really hope you enjoyed my video on combining different rhythms in tabla. It's really exciting and dynamic to play different rhythms within the same song and the same instrumental piece. And I'm hoping that this video has helped you to do that now and maybe in the future too. Don't forget, if you're a beginner, uh, then you can uh, learn from the very first downloadable tabla course that's available at www.tabla.co.uk. Um, ten simple lessons, um, some really good close-up demonstrations of all the notes, great exercises, uh, lovely simple compositions, and a, a great way to build a nice foundation in Tabla. All the fundamentals of Tabla are explained. Uh, you can follow me on uh, at Solek Ruprel on Twitter, and um, if you're interested, you can also like the Tabla Works page on Facebook, uh, where I do loads of useful commentaries on my videos and other Indian classical videos too. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time and uh, good luck with your playing and your practicing.